My name is Jackson Braun. I go to Woodward Elementary, and I'm in sixth grade, and my teacher's name is Mrs. Kearns and Miss Rodriguez. The add page button. Where is that? Oh. There we go. And if you try it now, drawing with your stylus, you'll see it doesn't really do anything. So right now, the stylus is acting like, you know, like it's your yeah, hand. So yeah. To grab it and move it around. Okay? So where would you go to actually draw? There. There. So in the draw menu, do you see how on the left hand side you've got text and kind of the selector is, is picked right now? Yeah. So to draw, you have to pick a color. Now try drawing something. The classic <laughs> stick figure. Okay, <laughs> awesome. So you can draw. And if you want to make changes to that, then you have to go back to the draw menu. In fact, let's go ahead and pin it down by clicking this little guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now all that does is keep the menu there. So if you go back to your untitled page, all right. So do you want to try a different color? Sure. <laughs> Okay, so there's two other things you can do. If you look up there on the top left, you also have the lasso select and the eraser. Can you select one of those tools? Okay. So to erase, we simply choose a different tool. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and, and hit this drop down menu. So lots of colors and thicknesses to choose from. Okay, go ahead and make something else. Okay, now on eraser this time, what are your options on the drop down menu? What does it say there? Small, the medium, and the large erasers, and the stroke. Okay, let's see what the stroke eraser does. Does that make sense? Yeah. So instead of erasing just wherever you are on those pixels, yeah, it gets rid of the whole yeah. thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw something else again. Now forgive my ignorance, that's a baseball, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, <laughs> it's a baseball. So let's try out that lasso select tool. See if you can. That's, that's all you do. You click it. Right. Then go ahead and try to select that baseball. You have to lasso around it. Oh. Okay, see how I grabbed only part of it? Try it one more time to get around the whole thing. Good. Now you can grab a corner and make it bigger if you want. First well, that lets you move it around, wow. so that's kind of a cool feature. Yeah. You can move parts you're drawing around. There you go. <laughs> so by lassoing it, you're telling it you want to manipulate the object, and you can do that in one note too. Kind of a cool, yeah. cool feature. So those are your three basics as far as typing, selecting, etc. Try writing something nice and neat as if you were turning in for an assignment. Okay, let's try clicking this little guy, the ink to text button. Hey, look what it did. Oh, it's cool. Okay, so here's another option for that. If you like that way, that's pretty cool, but let's try this out. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the type tool and click somewhere else on the screen, wherever you haven't done something. Just tap it. Okay, and let's try clicking on our little virtual keyboard guy and switch it with the keyboard type to the one with the pen on it. Okay, try writing something there on that. Okay, 
So in this way, it's doing the text recognition as you write. Yeah. And then obviously you hit insert. Did it work? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. So those are some of the basics of what the pen can do with, with OneNote. Yeah. With drawing and manipulating and changing objects. All right, so let's try one more um, program. Let's go ahead and close that out and click this little button up there at the top to say goodbye OneNote. And now, if you hit the, the Windows key on the keyboard, or on that works too, and you see the big old fresh paint? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, 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 whatever Windows we know. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and hit Done. Now this program, I don't know if you've played with it before or not, but it's basically just a, Color. a drawing, coloring, yeah. whatever program. So go ahead and tap the Let's Get Started up there at the top. You can either mess with the tiger or you can make a brand new blank page, whichever you want to do. Okay, so this program with a stylus, these are your types of brushes and of course you have your colors up there. Yeah. So you have smaller tips to wider tips. Go ahead and pick a paintbrush of some kind. Okay, you've selected it. Right. Now, what color do you want to work with? The color it is or a different color? Um. Let's go with the color it is. Okay, so we tap the screen once to get rid of the palette. Okay, you just switch brushes. <laughs> so you bring it back, you slide down. Okay, then tap this. There you go. Let's see what you think of the stylus for that. If you put the stylus down for a second and try your finger. Which one do you like better? Uh, stylus. The stylus? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember how to switch it up and get a different color? Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So, Jackson, any last thoughts? What do you think of the stylus on this device? It's pretty cool, like how you get to write with your own handwriting and the tablet understands what it means and you can like you can write something like it's just a piece of paper and then it transforms into the notes you get when you're typing okay. so it's pretty cool <laughs> and then the coloring is really fun because it looks like you're really painting but with a pen <laughs>